Hello everybody, this is Vasil. In this video I'm going to show you how to create your custom camera view. We're going to use this custom camera view to continue our project, to take a selfie and upload it to Firebase and you can also download it so you can verify your identity. So let's continue to the video and I hope you guys enjoy. In the previous video we created all the views for signing up and logging in. In this video we're going to create our camera view controller. A custom camera that's going to take a picture and it's going to either upload to the Firebase or is going to download and verify the identity of the person. Very good. So simply, let's go and create a new storyboard. I'm going to say new, new file. And this is going to be a new storyboard. This storyboard I'm going to call camera. Create. It's camera.storyboard and I'm going to drag a view controller right here. In this camera view controller, we want to add a view, UI view, that's going to be our camera, camera layer, and I'm going to expand it to the whole screen, so basically my whole screen is going to have the camera, and I'm going to put the color on this one, I'm going to light grey, just so I can see it like this, let's go and expand it right here to the whole screen, very good, and let's go to Let's put a UI button like this. That's going to take a picture. I'm going to make it a bit bigger like this. I'm going to say take picture. I'm going to give it white color. You can even, instead of have a text, you can put an image like Snapchat or other applications have. And let's go and put this. 8 pixels from the bottom, give a width and height and this is going to be center horizontally like this, perfect now our storyboard is done we will need to create a view controller swift file so let's go to our project, right click new file it's going to be a cocoa touch class of UI view controller and this is called camera view controller and we simply create this. I'm gonna delete all that text and go to the camera storyboard and let's connect our camera view controller to the uh, file we just created by saying camera view controller in the identity inspector. And let's open assistant editor to connect our button and our uh, camera view. I'm gonna make a note right here call this camera view very good and an action for my button this is an action and I'm gonna call it take photo very good let's close assistant editor and now let's go to our camera view controller I'm gonna close this on the left right the things we need for a custom camera view are three. We need a camera session, a session output, and a preview layer of what we're going to see. So let's go and create those. Let's call var capture session. I'm going to call it capture session equals an AV. Actually, let's go and import an AV foundation. Import AV foundation and call this AV Capture Session. Very good. Open close brackets. Now we need our session output. Our session output. This is AV Capture Photo. Oops. AV Capture Photo Output. Open close brackets. And last thing, we need a preview layer that's called AV Capture Video Preview Layer. Open close brackets. Those are the three things that we need to create a custom camera view. Now that we created those, in view load we're not going to write anything yet. So we will create a new method, actually override a new method, view will appear. Will appear. And what we want to prepare uh, the capture session and everything is going to be in the view will appear before 
the actual view appears. We want to override this function, so we have to say super dot view will appear and with animated. We want to do whatever the view will appear does normally, and then do the extra stuff that we want. Now, what do we want? We want to take our device session and get the front camera from it. The way we do this in Swift 3 is by creating uh, a device session right here. Let device session equals AV capture device discovery session and we want with device types, media type and position. The device types are going to be uh, dot building dual camera, uh, building telephone photo, and comma, and building wide angle camera. Those three. And media type, what we want for media type is a string of AV media type video like this and position is gonna be unspecified now this device session has a lot of devices and we want to uh, go and look for those devices and take the one that has a front camera because we want to take a selfie from it so let's go and create a for loop and call for device in device session dot devices and what do we want to do is we want to grab the device with the front camera. So let's say if the device dot position double equals AV capture device position dot front. We want to get the device with, with the front camera, and we have to do it. Mm. Let's go and fix this one. Okay, it wants to put it into a, into brackets. Very nice. And now let's go and to continue we'll have to do a do try catch uh, method because the way AV capture works it might happen in or might not happen it might throw an error so we will have to do this let's go and say do and right here catch let let AV error and here we want to print AV error like this and in our do statement, we're gonna say we want the input. So let's go let input, which is gonna be a device input, and here is where we need our try. Try AV capture device input, and it's gonna be created from a device from the device that we have. The device right here that I'm using is this device right here, and what do we want? We want to see if this capture session that we created up right here can have an input by saying if capture capture session dot can add input and the input that we want is the input that we created just the above line. If this is possible then we want to add the input capture session dot add input and the input is input. Now that we added the input we want to add an output. So by doing the same, we want to see if capture session dot can add output, can add output, and what the output is is the session output that we created above. So let's say session output. And open brackets. If this pass, then we go and add the output capture session dot add output, and the output is session output. Very good. Since we are here, we can go and create our preview layer and display it into our camera view that we created and see what our camera sees. So let's go and do preview layer equals AV capture preview layer. I'm going to use the first one with a session. And this is our capture session. Very good. And our preview layer dot video gravity we want to have a v layer video gravity resize aspect fill right this one and this one is preview layer dot connection 
dot video orientation and we want to be in portrait dot portrait this is gonna show us a preview layer of only portrait very nice and since our preview layer is done we want to go and add it this layer into our camera view so camera view dot layer dot add sub layer and that sub layer is a preview layer and this preview layer is gonna is gonna be over this uh, button so we are not be gonna be able to see our button so let's go and say camera view dot add sub view and that sub view is gonna be my button so let's go and create an outlet for my button I'm gonna open assistant editor and I'm gonna drag this one right here and make an outlet of button like this close this and add sub view I'm gonna say button like this our button is gonna appear on top of our uh, preview layer by doing this we're still not gonna see our preview layer because the position of it is uh, outside the window so we need to give a preview layer position so let's go preview layer dot position and we need to create a CG point for this equals CG point and we want to center it into our uh, camera view so let's go and create reset with a float value and let's say X is gonna be self dot camera view dot frame dot width divided by 2 and this is self dot camera view dot frame dot height divided by 2 like this our preview layer is gonna appear in the middle of our camera view and we also want to give the bounds of the preview layer to the camera frame so, so bounds equals camera view dot frame now this is gonna expand in our whole screen and last thing we want to do after this is done we want to say capture session dot start running start running we are gonna see live what our camera is happening now after you run this code in simulator it's not gonna work it's gonna crash your app so you have to run this on device so I'm gonna run it on my device right now and I'm gonna show you a video of how I do it one more thing before I start running into my device I need to go to info p list and I need to add something I need to add an NS camera description usage so it's NS camera description usage wait usage description it's usage description sorry and right here this is to prevent our crash because uh, Swift 3 needs to have this property in the P list in order not to crash so now I can go and build as you can see right here it asks me to give access to my camera I'll say OK and this is it my camera works thank you guys for watching I'm gonna end the video right here in the next video I'm gonna show you how to take the picture upload it to Firebase and also I'm gonna show you how to download the picture and then we're gonna detect and verify the identity of the person if you like the video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and here you can also check my other videos see you in the next episode